The technical statement here is that uh, you cannot get through infinity with successive addition. And since that's how we move through time, you could never get through an infinite amount of time in order to have gotten to the present moment. So it's logically absurd to say that the universe is past eternal. Now, we can dig into that more in the future. However, the reason I'm going to uh, cut that there is because we have a lot stronger evidences today uh, get, thanks to the advancements of sciences. So the scientific evidence is such that we have actually simply proven that the universe began to exist. So let me, let me give you the rundown here. So where do I want to start? Let's go with, let's go with this. In the 1920s, astronomer Edwin Powell Hubble observed something called redshift while examining astro astrological bodies. Redshift is a displacement of the spectrum of an astronomical object toward longer red wavelengths. It is attributed to the Doppler effect, which is a change in wavelength that results when a given source of waves and an observer are in motion with respect to each other. Here's the important thing. Because of that observation of redshift, Hubble was able to discover two very important things. One, he discovered that most of our galaxies in the universe are moving away from our galaxy. And two, the further away a galaxy is, the faster it is moving. 